Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full review on a brand new palette from I Heart Revolution. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on. We are going to be uploading back to back. I'm back in business. <laughs> um, we started off yesterday with the P. Louise budget box and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new palette from I Heart Revolution and tomorrow we're going to be starting back up with the Batman reviews because I kind of did one and then just dropped off the end of the earth but I'm back. So tomorrow we're going to be doing one testing Harley Quinn. So her sponges, her palette and the little lipstick lip gloss as well. So that'll be coming tomorrow but today we're going to be testing this bad boy out. So this is brand new from I Heart Revolution. It retails for £10 and it's one of their chocolate bar palettes. However, this one is in a tin. So this is just what the outer packaging looks like. They're normal kind of the chocolate bar palettes. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, they normally retail for £9. So the tin is just an extra pound. I know in my Patreon groups and stuff, there's been a lot of chat about whether people like the tin, whether people don't like the tin. What do you think? Like, do you like tin packaging? Do you prefer this packaging? Like, what do you prefer? What I will say is it isn't actually that much different size wise. So if you were wondering whether the tin would be a lot more chunkier, it actually, there actually isn't that much difference between the two. The tin one is a fraction tiny little bit thicker, but literally nothing that you would be able to like notice. But yeah, it is a brand new tin one. And then the inside looks like this. Oh my God, so beautiful. Oh, I've got new nails as well. And um, so these are my, my new nails. I just got them done earlier on. So yeah, this is just what it looks like. I feel like it's very like autumn in a palette. I'm so ready for it. I'm so ready for it to be a little bit cooler, for it to be not full and dark nights, but I'm ready for the temperature to drop and for it to be a little bit more cozier and just, I'm just here for it. So let's get straight into swatches and let's put this on my eyeballs. I will say as well, this was given to me from Revolution, just to let you know, just so I'm completely honest. Um, I haven't done a video explaining all that kind of shebang yet. I don't know when I'm going to get it up because I literally have like back-to-back -back video ideas that need to be up really, really quick. So I don't know when I'm gonna get it in, but if you follow me on Instagram or if you're one of my patrons, you already know the deal anyways. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that it was gifted to me from Revolution. So let's just get straight into it. <laughs> okay, so starting from the top, we have Chocolatier, Coated, Layer, Semi-Sweet, Topping, Artisan, Fondue, Sugar Coat, Confectionery, which is that kind of ready burgundy color, oh, gorgeous. Biscotti, chocolate creme, sweet milk, which is that big, bright, vibrant one. Then we have hot cocoa, chocolate kiss, super milk, take a bite, tiramisu, and then last but not least is leech. <laughs> least is um, churros. So I'm just going to start with some of the P. Louise base in room number two. I'm really trying to use this one up so I can open up a new pack. This just seems to last forever. <laughs> So I'm just going to basically tap that all over my eyes and then we'll get straight into it. If my skin looks red, it's because I've just been picking up my spots. Stupid thing for me to do mid-filming a video, but hey ho, I've so, oh, all my redness is in my head room. So I think I'm going to go like burgundy, pinky and green, I think. I do want to try the yellow, but it just doesn't go in my head with the look that I want to do as well. So yeah, I'm going to take hot cocoa, which is this dark one here, sorry, thought I heard something outside. <laughs> and I'm just using a um, I Hat Revolution Cocoa Pebbles brush, it's from the Flintstones gift set. And I'm literally gonna tap this. Ooh, okay, <laughs> Piment here. I'm just gonna tap this straight into this outer corner and in the crease. I'm gonna use this as like my darker color to like really build up that depth. I'm just kind of wiggling the brush as well, just so it slightly diffuses the edge, just to make it easier for me to blend in the long run, because just why not make life easier, do you know what I mean? Okay, so now that I've built that up in the outer corner, I'm going to go in with the shade Biscotti, which is, I don't know if you can see it here, it's just like lighter pink. And I'm just going to go in with a Morphe M456 brush, and I'm just going to use this to basically blend out this part up here just to 
basically diffuse it a little bit. I'm out of breath because I've literally just run upstairs. I've just been, had my tea. Um, I ended up like mid filming, like went down, put on my washing out to, to dry and then with my tea <laughs> and then ate my tea as well. So now we're looking a little something like this. I will say that purple colour there, like that colour looks a lot darker. It doesn't look like it's going to be this kind of colour purple. So just bear that in mind if you are going to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in with this shade Coated here, which is like a dark kind of greeny browny colour and I'm going to start by putting this just where that kind of purple matte ends and then I'm going to go in with a different finger and go in with Chocolate Kiss which is this one here and it's like kind of greeny sparkly colour and I'm going to have that as like the second shimmer and then I'm going to go in with this one here, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a green sparkle called Sweet Milk. And I'm going to go in with my little finger for that one. And I'm going to put that one right in that inner corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that on, build it all up, get it to how I want to be, and then I'll show you what it looks like. It's a bit hard to do it fast because I'm just a bit wary of time. It's like 8 o'clock now and I'm still filming and I want to get it up tonight <laughs> for you to see it. So yeah, we put the rest of my shimmers on. Let me sort it all out and then I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and I'll put the rest of my makeup on as well and I'll show you what the final look looks like. So this is the completed look. I am obsessed with how this has turned out. I did not expect this palette to come out like this. Like, I just didn't expect my look to be the way that it is. I just absolutely love it. I just love the colour combination of like the like the outer corner and then the green as well. Oh, I think it looks so good. I'm so proud of myself for this look. I'm not too sure about the lip combination with this look, but I do think it goes really, really nice. And I just really, really like it. So I've just tried um, a couple of new things. I've tried the Colourpop or Snap lip liner in case you're wondering. And then I've tried the Revolution Matte Bomb in... Um, Clueless Fuchsia, so it's actually a lot lighter than what it looks in the glass, like in the frosting. But then, as you can tell by the shine, I put a shimmer bomb on top. This one's called Daydream. I cannot even begin to tell you how beautiful these shimmer bombs are. Gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, this is my finished look. In regards to the palette, I definitely think it is just perfect for coming into like what into autumn. I was gonna say autumn and winter into autumn. Yeah, like I said, I didn't expect this look to come from this palette, and there's so much more that you can do with it, which I really like. There's quite a lot of mattes that you can play with. So you've got like darker ones, a yellow. You've got even a matte green, an orange, like a kind of I don't even know what color that is, and then a pink one as well. So you've got a good variation of matte and also a good variation of shimmers. Could probably done with just having like these two and not this one or I don't think you need like three darker greeny browny ones but oh, yeah I think it's beautiful I think the palette I'm, I, can, I don't think you could see what I was doing there so what I was saying is that you only need be like basically two out of three of these shimmers you don't need to have like three darker green ones like this one could have gone and you could just keep them two as well but yeah I love the mattes I love I just love this colour story I think it's absolutely stunning and I am very, very happy with how this has turned out. I would love to know what you think down below. In case you're wondering anything about my foundation and stuff, I've got on the old um, Benefit Health Flawless foundation on, like the liquid one. You can get like a newer version of it, which I think is basically the same. I've got NYX Brow Gel on in black. Um, I've got a new thing that I've just tried, but it's not new, but the colour's new. This is the Revolution Glow Ultra Matte Bronzer in Light. Normally, I think I have medium, so I tried light today. And then for blusher, I've got Benefit Havana on because it's got like a little bit of a purple twist in it. And highlighter, I tried a new one from Revolution as well. Well, not new, but new to me again. Um, again, the Revolution Glow Splendor, where this is the um, Ultra Glow Highlighter in Soft Glam. It just looks like this. So Lizzie and Emma, if you're watching this, beautiful for our complexion. <laughs> Um, I think that's about it. Mascara I've got on. Um, I've got Maybelline Sky High. And then I've also got my Ardell Bottom Mascara on, which is on I absolutely love to pieces. And I think that's about it. What's on my face? 
I think powder I used um, one from like a Revolution Advent calendar from last year that I've hit pan on, I absolutely love. And then I also used the Benefit Hello Happy powder for the rest of my face. I used the Revolution one underneath my eyes. And then concealer I used, um, I switched it up and I used Revolution's Eye Bright Illuminating one. So yeah, that is everything that is on my face. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's definitely going to be going up late because it is already 20 to 9 and I've just finished filming it and I need to edit it for you. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think down below. I'll see you tomorrow for the Harley Quinn video. Love you so much. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>